So sometimes we don't care about a circuit uh, or even a path on a graph. Sometimes what we're interested in is something called a tree or more specifically a spanning tree. The idea behind a spanning tree is that if you have a set of vertices, uh, you want them to all somehow be connected to every other vertex. Uh, and so something like this would work just fine. This way, any vertex can be, con is connected to every other vertex. And this is an example of a spanning tree. When we have costs attached to our, or weights attached to our edges, like we have down here, we might be interested in the minimum cost spanning tree, uh, minimum cost spanning tree. And that's what we're going to try to find now. And we're going to use an algorithm called Kruskal's algorithm. And Kruskal's algorithm is very similar to sorted edges, except we're not trying to create a circuit. And so we are going to add, uh, add, uh, from cheapest up. So again, we're going to create a sorted list of edges from the most e cheapest to the most expensive. And we're going to add from the cheapest up, uh, unless, unless, it creates a circuit. Now notice we're n we, d we have no degree 3 restrictions here because trees don't care about degree 3. Degree 3 is just fine for a spanning tree. Uh, the only thing we don't want is circuits because they are extra connections that we don't actually need. So we'll go ahead and we'll start here and we'll say the very cheapest edge is this one here. So we'll go ahead and add that one. Next cheapest is here. The next cheapest is here, but notice that that would be bad because now we've got ourselves a circuit, so we're not going to add that one. So next is, uh, down here, uh, cost of 7. Doesn't matter that we're not connected yet. Uh, and then finally, number, uh, this, this edge here with cost 8. Now notice at this point we're done because every single vertex is included and every single vertex is connected to every other one. Before we added this edge, every vertex was included, but these vertices were separated from these vertexes. It was not connected. So we need to include that. And the red graph there is the spanning tree, the minimum cost spanning tree. Now, th this algorithm, interestingly, is not only efficient, as you can tell, it's quite quick, it is also optimal, which is quite remarkable. So this is both an optimal and efficient algorithm. It'll always give us the minimum cost spanning tree.